Vail Resorts makes $17.2 million on just two recent property sales in Breck. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, CDOT has a word of advice for high alpine hikers and bikers this summer. Keep your eyes peeled for avalanche bombs. They're usually brightly colored. They're usually painted a yellow or a blue or an orange. That was Tracy Trulove with CDOT. The state launched 1,500 rounds of ordinance this winter to mitigate danger across the state. That's 90% more than usual, and 22 of those rounds never exploded. They're considered duds. They do happen, but again, it's that numbers game. You know, with as many explosives as we put out this year, you're going to have a percentage. Duds happen every winter, but this season is different, with potential for bombs on rare avi terrain. It's almost like a mini rocket you would see. Something you wouldn't see in nature. doesn't look normal. It shouldn't be there. Don't touch it. Don't move it. Call local law enforcement and they'll get in contact with us. Be wary on trails near the Continental Divide or at ski areas at and above Treeline. Today in the Price of Fun. Vail Resorts made a cool $17.2 million in the past two weeks thanks to land and property sales in Breckenridge. The first is the Village Hotel at the base of Peak 9. That sold to Colorado developer Gravity House for $6.25 million. The developer has since closed most ground floor retail and restaurant space there for renovations. The hotel should reopen next ski season as Gravity House Breckenridge. The second is a 4.1 acre plot at the base of Peak 8. The property was assessed at $3.77 million in 2018 and sold for $10.935 million, a 190% markup. That's the priciest property sale of the year in Summit by nearly $6 million. It is currently home to the Breckenridge Resorts Administration Building and future home to a four-star branded hotel. The admin building will be demolished for construction beginning spring 2020. The hotel should open by 2022. Tune in again next Thursday for our final report of what it costs to have a good time in Summit on The Price of Fun on Crystal 93. Hello, Silverthorne! It's been nearly a year since Silverthorne became Gold Thorn, celebrating the accomplishments of Olympic and Paralympic athletes who call Summit County home. The town recently published interviews with three snowboarders, Paralympian Jimmy Sides and slopestyle medalists Red Gerard and Chris Corning, with the latest on what they've been up to since Pyeongchang. Sides is retired from the sport, saying his dreams came true by making the Paralympic team. Gerard stars in a new snowboard film, Joy, released this November on ABC and ESPN, and Corning this season won the third World Cup overall slopestyle title of his career. Find him this summer at Woodward Snow Camp as a guest coach with Never Summer. When Red Bull Slope Soakers comes to Copper for closing weekend, Silverthorne snowboarder Seth Carlsrud will be throwing down for the crowd. They're cheering on every trick, really pumping you up, you know. They want to make you do your best out there because they're just having fun. But he won't be jumping into the crowd, like a skier last year who broke a woman's collarbone and left with misdemeanors. That was scary. That was scary, honestly. I'm not sure exactly what, was, what he was trying to do. I think he was trying to land on the other side of the people, but just didn't work out that way. Carlsrud competes at Slope Soakers this Saturday for the fifth year running. He's defending best trick champ from last year and has no clue what to expect this year. Zero idea what's going to be going down there. I'm sure it's going to be gnarlier than last year. That's kind of the MO for them. He might not know what's coming, but he knows there's sun in the forecast. It's just a fun contest. It really is. It brings people from all over the county. They got great music. Usually it's a sunny day, so the vibes are just incredible. Slope Soakers combines rails, jumps, and pond skimming with cash prizes and season passes for skiers and snowboarders. Registration is open for $30 at coppercolorado.com. In sports, the Rockies open a weekend series with the Phillies at 640. The Nuggets play the Spurs at 7. That playoff series is tied at one game apiece. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, ski mountaineering season is not finished yet. Next up is the Five Peaks Ski Mo Race, a one-day challenge to summit peaks 6 through 10 at Breckenridge. Five Peaks is held April 27th. Get signed up at mavsports.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.